for the Maroon Devils here. And uh, got a little hitch in his step there. And now kicks it uh, short. Going to be fumbled. And it's on the ground at the 41-yard line. Maroon Devils say they have it. And the officials agree. Last week was football's last regular season home game. Football, cheerleading, and marching band had their senior night to honor all the students involved who will be graduating this year. Mama also landed on the field to deliver the game ball and commemorate 37 years of service to Western North Carolina. The last regular season game, which will determine the conference champion and playoff seating, is on Friday, October 27th at Robbinsville. A delayed broadcast of the Robbinsville game will be released on Monday, October 30th at 7.30 p.m. on the Maroon Devils Network. Marching band season has officially ended. The band competed at the Land of the Sky, earning second place percussion, second place drum major, first place music, and first place overall in Class 2A. And at AC Reynolds, the band earned third place color guard, second place music, second place percussion, first place drum major, and second place overall band in Class 3A. The high school concert band had their fall concert on Tuesday in the Swain Arts Center, performing a variety of musical genres, including Beethoven, Ozzy Osbourne, and the soundtrack of Stranger Things. And congratulations to Toby Thompson. Next week, he will perform with the National FFA Band in Indianapolis. He is the first Wayne County student to perform with the National FFA Band and was one of only 100 students across the country selected. This week, Lola Collins was the first Lady Devil golfer to ever participate in the regional championship for classes 1 and 2A women's golf, finishing 51st overall. The cross-country teams will have their Western Regional Championship at 10 a.m. tomorrow, October 28th, at Katua. The volleyball team finished their season on Tuesday with a record of 19 wins and 7 losses, the best record for the team since 2014. They took second in the Smoky Mountain Conference Championship and made it to the second round of state playoffs. On Monday, the men's soccer team had their senior night, winning 3-1 against Tri-County. It was also their last regular season game, with the team finishing fourth in conference. And remember to subscribe to the Maroon Devils Network to keep up with all things maroon and white.